Hi, this is Lachami Kantiwari. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show how you can customize the material theme. So before customizing a material theme, we have to create a new application. So it is very simple. Just start your Android Studio and then click on I start a new studio project. And if you are running behind the proxy, you have to set the proxy, but before that, set the application name. So let's set it, its application name as. Uh, let's give a proper name. That's the material theme, right? So we tested uh, customize theme. And then click on the next. I think let's give another name, a proper name. So let's give a material theme. Right, and then click on the next. Then select here a minimum SDK. I'm gonna select a API 23 minimum SDK. And then click on the next. And we are gonna select here empty activity and then click on the next. Here it would ask about a default activity name and the layout name. As you change the activity name, according to that, the layout name would be automatically changed. And one more thing if you notice here. So here activity is auto would be added in the activity name and the main would be added here. Right? So the activity underscore main. So it's a kind of the reversal and then click on the finish. If you are running behind the proxy, you have to set the proxy. So I'm running behind the proxy at IIT Kharagpur. So I have to set the proxy here. So click on OK. And then it would open a new Android application. So just wait for a second while it is initializing the Gradle. So once the Gradle would be initialized, application would be open. But before that, Gradle take care of all the dependencies and it configure your projects so that you can work very smoothly. Now Gradle has done its work. Now let me take you through the Android Studio. So here is your uh, project menu bar. Here you can select the Android project package, scratch, problem productions, whatever you want. So we are going to stuck with the project, uh, with the Android. However, if you select the project, then you can see its library, etc. in another form. So let's select the Android. And if you click on this project, this would be hidden. Again, if you click, then it will, then it will come out. And apart from that, you can see here these icons, menu icons, the cut, a paste, a copy, and paste, and then find, and then replace. Right? From here you can run your application. So we'll take these things later. So first of all that, let's come back to the manifest file. So here if you see in the manifest file, the material design has the, your activity, main activity, a launcher activity that is your main activity. Why? Because of there is only one activity. So the Android manifest is also a very important file in your project. So let's come back to the, your resource folder. And if you come into the layout and into the activity main.xml. And if you see here, so here is a primary color and here is a primary dark color. 
if you come into the text and you can see the preview of this XML file and you can also hide this one so let's take a preview of this XML file and here is a text view so this text view is redundant let's get a read of this text view and I'm gonna set here relative layout so let's delete this constant layout and type here a relative layout and if you see here your context is com dot example dot embrace dot material theme dot main activity so we are done with our text so this is gray color just remove this we don't need that now let's come back into a value folder and in a value folder if you open a colors you can see here a color primary color primary dark and the color ascent and let's come back to the string so if you come into the string here you see the app name and let me take you to the android manifest file in android manifest file if you see here um, uh, into the app name let me see where is the app name yes it is here in the label so see inside the string folder the string resource name is app name so if you want to change your app name you do not need to come here into android manifest file but in fact you can change your app name from a string folder itself so here we have a material theme so let's make it material design let's come back to the color so inside color you see here color primary color primary dark and the color ascent let me take you one more time to android manifest file so in android manifest file if you see here inside the style file there is app theme so this is a theme for our application so theme is this one and that resides here into the style and then in the style the name of that theme is app theme and the parent of that app theme is theme app compact light dot dark action bar there are three items in that theme so the first one is the color primary and then color primary dark and then color ascent so we are overriding this parent theme by using these three overriding items so before we do anything let's run this default application so click on this run and it would ask about your available devices so here i have a two device one my mobile application and another one is virtual device so i would like to run it on my virtual device so if you don't have any virtual device i have just connect disconnected my mobile if you don't have any virtual device then you can create your new virtual device from here so let's click on the nexus 5 so if i click on the nexus 5 it will first start the android emulator while it is starting and making ready my android emulator 